If the sun should tumble from the sky If the sea should suddenly run dry If you love me, really love me Let it happen, I won't care If it seems that everything Yes, that entire intro was shot on iPhone 13 Pro. What is going on guys? My name is Nikki. So Apple has released four iPhones this year. The iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini and the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max. And for the first time, going pro is absolutely extremely worth it. Welcome to my iPhone 13 Pro review. Pro almost looks exactly the same in the outside, but definitely not in the inside. We get the beautiful design with stainless steel flat edges, and we get this new Sierra blue color, which looks absolutely stunning. It's got this like ocean feel to it. We got a couple things that are different this year in the design. First of all, the camera modules are absolutely huge. You have to see them in person to actually see how big they actually are because they are so big. We also get a smaller notch. The earpiece has actually been moved to the top. You really notice the difference, especially on iPhone 13 Pro Max with that larger display, but we can still not see that battery percentage directly. We have to go to notification center and then look at the battery percentage. Apple, seriously, please. Okay, let's talk display because the display on the iPhone 13 Pro is the reason on why you should go pro. We finally get 120 hertz display on the iPhone. So if you're reading a book, the display will refresh at 5 hertz, but if you're playing an intense game, that will be 120 hertz. This is cost with ProMotion to save battery life. It doesn't make sense for you to use an 120 hertz display by simply reading an article. You're not going to notice it, but if you're scrolling, if you're playing games, if you're actually using the phone with the animations, you will truly feel the 120 hertz display. It simply feels so freaking smooth. The display has gotten 28% brighter, so that Super Retina XDR display simply looks amazing this year. What powers iPhone 13 is the 6-core CPU with the A15 Bionic, which will make anything that you do with the iPhone run incredibly smooth. And efficiency. It will help with efficiency a lot because the battery of iPhone 13 is probably one of its strongest points. The battery with the iPhone 13 has gotten some serious improvement. You're gonna get two more hours with the iPhone 13 Pro and two and a half hours with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. That's a big deal. You could probably run like two full days with the battery of the iPhone 13 Pro Max without needing a charger. That's seriously some impressive stuff. I know I stand in line until you think you have the time to spend an evening with me. And if we go someplace to dance, I know that there's a chance you won't be leaving with me. And afterwards we drop into The most important thing that a phone should have for me is a good camera. And with the iPhone 13 Pro, the camera has gotten so much good and so many new features and so much stuff to play around with. Because at the end of the day, you bring your camera always with you. You bring your iPhone always with you and you expect the camera of your iPhone to keep up with you. Then you won't get spoken to People only see you when you up Then they notice you Trying to be a legend Cray lines is quotable Only the real shall last And I only know a few People when they feelings Always acting emotional The sensors have gotten so much bigger Which means 47% more light Will come into your camera Which means you're gonna get less noise And brighter results There's a new sensor in the ultra wide camera Which delivers more details in dark areas With lower noise we also get stabilizations on all the lens. Also new is macro photography. 
with its much closer two centimeter minimum focus distance, you can really get close to objects. You can get so close that whenever you take a photo and you look at it and you show somebody, people will be like, what the heck are you showing me? Because you get so much in the details that it's crazy. You can play around so much with macro and do so many more creative photos with your iPhone. Photographic styles. We now get five preset styles, standard, rich contrast, vibrant, warm, and cool. All smartphones take incredible photos. No smartphone takes better photos than the other. The iPhone tends to be more natural. Samsung Galaxy phones, well, they tend to be more vibrant. Google Pixel, it tends to be more contrasty. But with photographic style, it does exactly that. It all depends on the style that you like. So if you wanna be a more galaxy vibrant person, you turn that on. If you want more contrast, you can have that. So now you've literally got all the phones out there in the market all combined into one. So you can decide which style you actually want. Okay, let's talk about the feature that Apple's talking about the most cinematic mode. Cinematic mode allows you to do this. The background is a little bit blurry and you're focused on me. So now the camera of your iPhone will understand what's in focus and what should not be in focus in video. It's kind of like portrait mode. It's kind of like a mix like if your iPhone actually was a real camera with actual lens. It does this all with computational photography. It's like crazy, crazy stuff. But at the end, for you, the user, you can basically shoot video and actually focus on people. You can actually focus on objects. It's really awesome the way that it works. Now, is it actually any good? I gotta say this, it's good, but not great. It's actually super impressive to see the results. I mean, you guys saw it. You guys saw the intro that was entirely shot with cinematic mode on iPhone 13 Pro, which gets me very excited to be honest because portrait mode today is amazing. If cinematic mode looks the same way that portrait mode does in a couple of years from now, I'm gonna be so incredibly happy because I love the potential that cinematic mode has. I mean, the iPhone 13 Pro could be a perfect camera for a bunch of beginner YouTubers. That sorts of stuff gets me very excited because cinematic mode, you can get some really awesome looking shots. Sometimes the hair isn't perfect. If you're wearing glasses, it doesn't really get it that much. But slowly, with software updates, with better lens, cinematic mode will get better. One thing that sucks is that we can only record at 1080p, which no 4K gets me very sad because I really wanna do use cinematic mode. But you know, since there's no 4K, I can't really use it with my videos since my videos are 4K, which, Gets me sad. Apple, please add 4K. I mean, they will probably be next year, but concluding my thoughts with cinematic mode, it's very impressive. It's good, but not great. No 4K. It's not the best at low light, and you can't use the ultra wide camera with cinematic. So, overall, cameras on iPhone 13 Pro, big improvement. Bubblegum fights on the third. The iPhone 13 Pro is a great upgrade. We get incredible cameras, phenomenal battery life, finally a high refresh rate display at 120 hertz. But there are still some things that are missing with the iPhone. Why don't we have Touch ID in an era that we have to wear face masks all day long? Why do we still have lightning? Why don't we get a battery percentage if we got a smaller notch? Also for next year's iPhone, let's get 4K on cinematic mode. And something else that would be awesome is recording at 4K at 120 frames per second. Holy crap, iPhone 13 Pro took the win with the 120 hertz display. You're getting such an amazing package. So guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, be happy because life is good, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.